Hey everyone! It is hot outside, so that means as a dog owner, there is a lot of shedding. We have like little hobs, tumbleweeds going everywhere in the house. We pretty much have to vacuum every day, if not twice a day. Lately, I've been doing something that is a little bit weird. I've been grooming him with a hacksaw blade. I know, it sounds weird, but it's based off of a grooming tool that people use for horses. And I've seen a few people use them for dogs. It's essentially like a long block of wood that you like put a hacksaw blade in. And if you brush them with it, it pulls their uh, like undercoat out, I guess. Um, it doesn't cut the fur. A lot of people think that it ends up cutting the fur because it's a blade, but it doesn't. It like pulls the loose hairs out like a de-shedding tool should. So I've kind of just been doing it kind of cheaply and using just a straight straight up blade and doing it and it works great but it's like kind of hard on your hands because it's like a thin little blade and you have to like grip it weirdly anyway I decided today that I was going to make it into a real tool like I have seen before so of course I'm going to show you guys how to make one of your own so let's get started you'll need a block of wood mine is one by three cut down to five inches a hacksaw blade one with smaller teeth mine has 24 teeth per inch Essentially, you want something that has shorter teeth because the longer that they are, you might accidentally nick the dog. Adhesive? I recommend some type of two-part epoxy. I used JB Weld. A saw, tin snips, sandpaper, tape, and some kind of finish or paint. Along the side of the block of wood, mark the midpoint spanning the whole length like so. Also measure down how far you'd want the blade to go into the wood. I'd say to go at least half of the width of the blade. For me, that was 1 4 inch down. I did end up going a little bit deeper with it in the end, but it's good to just give yourself a visual to go off of initially. Clamp your wood down. I'm using the built-in bench vise on our workbench, but you could totally just use normal clamps. Carefully saw on the line, making sure to keep the saw level and without moving it off of the marked line. It's a little tough in the beginning, so just go slow, be patient. Eventually, you'll get it. Measure and mark the blade to match the size of the wooden block, and use tin snips or metal shears to cut at that point. Sand down all the edges of the wood to make the block more comfortable to hold. You could totally go further and shape the wood more to really fit your hand. Sand the cut end of the blade to knock down any sharp bits. From here, you can paint or finish the wood however you want already, or you can wait until after you attach the blade. I waited until after I put the blade in. This is optional, but I put tape along the edge where the blade was going to go. This is going to keep the glue mess down. My blade was coated with white paint, so I used my metal ruler to scrape off where the glue would come in contact with the blade, just to make sure that everything would be well adhered. Mix the epoxy according to the instructions. Typically, you mix it in equal parts. Spread some epoxy onto the flat side of the blade, and spread it in the groove. Since I put tape down, you can see that I was able to just smush it down without worrying about getting it all over the wood. And stick it into the groove. And wipe off any excess epoxy that squishes out. Once everything's in place, carefully remove the tape, making sure not to disturb the blade. Let that cure. Again, follow the instructions for the epoxy. Mine says to let it cure for 24 hours. If you've already finished the wood, then you're done. If not, use some tape to mask off the blade, and then finish the wood as you see fit. I used this dual stain plus sealer on the wood. Let the finish dry, and it's done. 
Now go brush all of that shedding undercoat from your dog. I feel like this is kind of obvious, but make sure to never use a back and forth sawing motion when you're using one of these. The teeth shouldn't be long enough to cause damage if you brush them correctly, but if you saw back and forth, there's always a possibility that you could cut the poor dog. You can see as I'm brushing, it's getting all the soft undercoat fur that's just waiting to be brushed out so this pup can be more comfortable in the hot weather. Hobbs loves this thing. I'm sure it feels great to get rid of all of that extra fur. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron or learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. You can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch, and I'll leave the information to all of those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.